definitely need to talk about the jobs part of our goal. So once you get certified, you gotta go after a job. Let me backtrack and correct that. You do not need to wait until you are certified to go after a job. Now you might not be ready for your dream job, but you are definitely ready for jobs associated with the certification that you're either studying for or have recently accomplished. Now CompTIA A plus is one of the most common starting points in the certification game. So what the heck can you do with it? How do you get paid? Well, A plus covers a wide variety of topics, objectives, focus areas. We're talking hardware and software, mobile devices, a little bit of cloud networking, security. It's really an entry to a lot of key components in tech. Now remember it is entry level which means you are going to be going after entry to mid-level jobs at the highest. Now, that's not to say that your past experience and your knowledge can't get you something awesome out of the door, but most commonly, you're gonna be looking at a couple different specific job titles. So here's a list. Now, really, really common, and one of the things that I know I wanted to avoid like crazy when I was studying was being a help desk tech. It doesn't seem appealing to everybody, but for some of you, you're gonna love it. Now, why didn't I like it? I was kind of scared to just be fixing stuff all day. Not really great at taking things apart and putting them back together. And I kind of thought that's all people with an A plus did, but that is so far from true. My very first job when I was studying for my A plus was actually a technical writer. I hated it, but, it gave me some great experience and exposure. The company was really, really flexible and they loved helping people grow. And what I mean by that is that the money sucked. Let's just be honest. I got hired at $16 an hour and I was like, I can't survive on this. But I was being paid for 40 hours a week and I was only working 30 hours a week because my boss wanted me to take 10 hours and invest it into studying. They were really, really on top of it with making sure that we had opportunities for career growth. Now, the money was not great, but the culture of the company was invaluable. It allowed me to really take the time and invest it in myself, finish my A plus and start studying for my net plus. Now, by the time I got my net plus studying started, I already had another job offer and I was off to a much better paying job. So I say all that because I want you to understand that A plus and entry level jobs, they're just a start and they are temporary, sometimes really temporary. I was only at that job for two months. That's it, that's all it took for me to get something on my resume, get my foot in the door, get some confidence in my tech experience and move on to the next opportunity. And that is exactly what you need to look at these jobs as. So again, take a look at this list. Lots of job opportunities there, but most importantly, these are different keywords that you should be plugging into Indeed and LinkedIn during your job search so that you can get a feel for what's available in your area and what they're paying. Now, if you are a career changer, I understand. Taking a hit to your paycheck, it hurts. I, I had to do it myself. But tech is really cool in the fact that you can bounce around much faster than under other industries. To be honest, it's expected. Because if you stay at one place too long, then you're not being exposed to different types of technologies, different methodologies, different ways to do things. So even though you might have to get your foot in the door at something that pays a little bit less than you're used to, don't feel stuck. It's a launch pad for greatness. So don't forget, apply for jobs while you're still studying. You do not have to achieve your certification before you're eligible for those interviews. Two, jobs are temporary. Technology moves fast and you need to keep up. So by the time you finish your cert and you're studying for the next one, start interviewing for more jobs. You'll make it. And three, you are your only limitation when it comes to your job search. When you are studying for your A+, remember how many focus areas you are touching on, right? We're talking cloud, cybersecurity, networking, hardware, software. 
and not just software in general, but we're talking operating systems, specific applications, installing it, maintaining it, even configuring and customizing it. You are studying for a solid skill set to be able to go into any part of tech you want. Use it to your advantage, bring your confidence to your interview, and get hired. All right, so what are your next steps? Well, you need to connect with us on Instagram as well as subscribe to this channel, obviously. Then go out there, study hard, apply for jobs, get paid, and repeat. I'll see you soon.